using the presets. Yay! Okay, and we are back. Hopefully Hi. that was fast enough for you, and Laura Marie's back here, and I'm going to let her start playing while I get some people back in the room to watch. All right, this is an oldie for me, but it's called uh, When Dawn Kindly Comes. You know what? The sound, just a second. I'm going to change it to studio sound. There we go. All right. It's a long night, hard to be sitting under starlight, missing the moon because sometimes the moon can just leave you alone. It's a hard loss, like losing your bets in a coin toss, when the only thing certain is love lost, and everything else is unknown. Take me home, I don't want to be here too long, not when the world can go wrong so wake me when dawn kindly comes it's a hard night and hard to believe that it's worldwide we're taking our turn on the downside and we still have miles to go Is it bad luck to stop on a dime when your moon's struck? And if a shot in the dark can find true love, then how the hell do you know? Take me home. I don't want to be here too long. Not when the world can go wrong so wake me when dawn kindly comes da -da -da. Da -da. Da -da -da. stars can make it here if the stars can make it here if the stars can make it well then I can make it if the stars can make it. Thank you. Very nice. I sort of, uh, the events of yesterday were very shocking to me. I'm a mom of two boys, um, elementary and middle school age, and I, I spent the whole day just um, once I found out about the events yesterday, just uh, sort of just in shock, I think, like everybody else. And so a lot of the songs I picked today were things that I think conveyed sort of that idea of love and peace. And and as odd as this is, um, Lunatic Moon is my next song, and it's uh, it's kind of about that going crazy when the moon is full, but it's really more about uh, what's inside of you, that sort of force that we all have, whatever you want to call it. But um, it's also 
one of jo John's had wanted me to, to uh, make a video of the song and I neglected to do it. I feel horrible about it. I will get to it eventually. <laughs> but uh, here's Lunatic Moon. There's a whole and perfect heart inside your chest. And it's beating with the love that it's confessed Echoes through your hollowed halls right in the mind As it's sounding out the steps of the divine I will follow through the night Though may never catch the sight Of what's hidden by the light Of a lunatic moon There's a true and holy thought Inside your head It is heard before the words are even said Ringing off the temple walls just like a bell Sounds a symphony inside this prison cell Be the sweetest, most sincere music, loud and clear. But it's the silence that I hear on a lunatic moon. See how the tide is rising now, the undertow can bring us down we are poor but we don't know how or why oh oh we rise oh oh we rise there's a pure but ancient place inside your soul Where it's safe and far beyond the moon's control Let the music there surround you like a shroud Until you find the words to sing your song out loud The sweetest sound of all will be the harmony that calls from the shadows that will fall on a lunatic moon. See how the tide is rising now, the undertow can bring us down. We are poor, but we don't know how or why. Oh, oh, we rise. Oh, oh, we rise. Oh, oh, we rise. Oh, oh, we rise. Under a lunatic moon Under a lunatic moon Under a lunatic moon Under a lunatic moon
Thank you. So I think a lot of themes of uh, forgiveness and are in order, you know, forgiveness and love and peace and all those are sort of in order with what's going on in the world today. And I wrote this song about that subject. It's called Angel, Please. Angel, please, now will you come to me? I need your guiding light. I need your light to see. I held the darkness near. I need your love to clear the way. I held a spark in hand, started a fire within. Burned every building down Now that it's over with I need a path to take I need your love to make a way Oh, how I pray for her Oh, how I pray for her Every day Oh, how I pray for her. Oh, how I pray for her every day. Angel, please, I made a big mistake. I took the truth to heart. That wasn't mine to take. I tore her world apart. Now she's a bro. Getting hard away. If ever you could lay to rest my shame, and sing to her and gently call her name. Oh, let your light appear, take all her pain. Oh, how I pray for her. Oh, how I pray for her every day. There was a light in her eyes. It was shining like starlight. That vision of her remains. And I know if it's not for my eyes, to behold, I just wanted to shine again. Oh, Angel, please, you know the heart of it. You know a sacred truth. Only our hearts admit when only they break. And bleed. Oh, will you come and lead the way? Oh, how I pray for her. Oh, how I pray for her every day. Oh, how I pray for her. Oh, how I pray for her. <laughs> All right. How are we doing on time? I'm, I'm losing track of time. I said I would watch, and I'm not watching because I forgot when we started. <laughs> are we good? Um, you're good. You, we're only six minutes over, but we were 15 minutes over, so it's up to you. Okay. We, we can catch up a little bit at a time, so don't cut yourself too short. Okay. Well. Give, I mean, I was going to do another song. I don't know if I can do one or two more. I don't know what that means. <laughs> no, no. If you have two more, go ahead and do two more. Uh, what I mean okay. is you're not over by that much. Uh, oh, be, okay. You haven't been anywhere near 30 minutes yet, so you're fine. All right. Okay. So then this is the song. I wrote a blog this morning. I'm all about, you know, the healing that needs to take place right now. 
for so many of us, not not just here in America. I mean, for those of you that are watching that are in America that know about the tragedy, but just worldwide, there's so much uh, going on that that really can tear you up. So uh, this is a song called Be Love. Threadbare music. That's the new project that I'm working on, and, and we're in the middle of a pledge project. We just made our 50% mark. Actually, we're at 52% now. So some of these songs that you're hearing will be on the new record. If you're interested in, in pre-buying that, you can go to that website. But this is uh, a lot of those songs came from a song a week project that I was doing at the beginning of 2012, and uh, this is one of those songs of the week. It's a brand new song. It's called Honest, and. Um, I kind of dare myself to play it, even though I haven't played it very long, and you know it's like just a couple of weeks old, and it makes me a little nervous. But I figure might as well do something scary every day, right? So, yeah. Don't 
people speak in code anymore Guess I've learned that it's best to be perfectly clear At least I think it might save me the pain of reliving this year Not that I haven't seen beautiful things And some that I needed to see I just don't want my life to be one lesson learned on repeat Just like all of these songs that I sing Some I've been singing for years Just like some of these words that you said still ring in my ears You called me honest Said that makes me dangerous If that means you're safer Further from the truth Then it's good to be nothing but honest to you All of the days of my life I've been searching for all of the truth I can find Guess I finally learned that I found it when I spoke it in mine. And I know I've lied like the best of them, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I'm clean. I just can't live a counterfeit life that comes with deceit. I soar through all of the words that you said. Some I just wanted to hear Still I cannot bury the ones I believe were sincere You call me honest Said that makes me dangerous If that means you're safer Further from the truth and it's good to be nothing but honest to you in the absence of words. Maybe you're listening to some you haven't heard. Not in the same way before, because everything got in the way the minute you walked through that door. It was all leading up to the day You call me honest Said that makes me dangerous If that means you're safer Further from the truth Then it's good to be nothing But honest to you Thank you so much. So that's it for my time, I think. Thank you for having me, John, and everybody for being here. In the Thank hangout. you. Thank you were great. Thank you very much. Okay. And, Laura, that um, link that I just put in the chat, okay. um, we have an interview room set up. If you want to jump in that hangout and let them know where they can find your music, um, they'll be waiting for you if you can do that. Sure. Sure, I'll do that right now. Thanks so okay. much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. Thanks. And now, how are you doing today, Doc Deuce? Aha, hello. Am I audible? Yes, you are. How are things in Austin, Texas? They are hectic right now. It has been the kind of day that makes a man want to drink a V8. <laughs> 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 Could have had a V8. But um, uh, yeah, my band is actually MIA. I uh, normally have some instrumentation with me, and I apologize that they uh, were not able to be here for this, but I am still here to, to do what it is I do. 
Everything all right? Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello. We're all just so quiet. <laughs> hey. Is there any uh, are there any uh, fans of hip hop lyricism in here? Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Very glad to hear that. Now, um, I'd like to give you a disclaimer. Um, though I am a hip hop artist, I, I like to always give this little disclaimer at first. I think there's a certain stigma associated with rap and rappers and hip hop artists these days because of what the mainstream continues to uh, promote and put out there. However, um, beneath the mainstream and in what is called the underground, there are a lot of really artistic and intellectual individuals who approach <laughs> hip hop lyricism as an art form. And I am one of those. I'm not just, you're not gonna hear me talking about chains and money and, and uh, you know, disrespecting women or anything like that. I actually do put a lot of time into the craft of putting the words and syllables together as well as the message being conveyed through them. So, uh, so yeah, I am a hip hop artist, not just a rapper. And we appreciate oh, that. Okay. That's, that's, a, that's a good <laughs> distinction there. <laughs> so it's like performance poetry. Indeed. 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 With music normally, however, again today I will uh, have to just kind of put some some hip hop beats behind me, which is really not what I like to do. Not only do I differentiate myself from uh, from other rappers um, in in the way that I approach the lyric the lyrical aspect of it by performing with the full band, uh, normally including also classical instrumentation like cellists, you know, and violinists. Uh, I also do separate myself. Uh, in that way. I live in Austin, again, considered the live music capital of the world, so I can't just get on stage and put in a CD like a lot of rappers do. I feel like if I'm going to be in this city making a name for myself, I've got to go above and beyond and give people something to remember. So, uh, what I'm going to do now, and actually, you got that email, right, Sticks? Yeah. Could you open up the, uh, the Bittersweet Symphony for me? I want to rap on Bittersweet Symphony. Anybody know that song by yeah. the birth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that one. <laughs> All right, wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and do that then and uh, basically just introduce myself as Doc Deuce in that. I'm going to turn on my lower third so you know who I am. Bam. <laughs> this is All right, we're just waiting for that to pull up here. It'll happen soon, I believe. Is it strange that I have my uh, camera at a different angle than everyone else? <laughs> Looks you did fine. that on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Again, I separate myself from. <laughs> That's how I differentiate. Hi, Mary. Hey, y'all. How are you doing? Oh, hello. Doing good, thanks. Is it not sorry? He has the cutest video out. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I'm just setting up my little bit. Yeah. Why? I am ready. Here comes the beat, I believe. No. Oh. It was working a moment ago. One second. So when a little sign comes across the screen, we are having technical difficulties. <laughs> I've never seen headphones that the cord comes out of. It's crazy. That kind of stuff. All right, well. This might have to just be an a cappella show since though we just tested this out a moment ago and it was working fine, it doesn't seem to be working fine anymore. Yeah, one of those days. <laughs> um, let's see here. Hold on, let me make sure it's here. Maybe because you have to connect up to the computer. I see so. All right, I'll just run it through the speakers. Uh, Where'd it go? Keep going. All right. Can you all hear that? 
Yeah. Uh, even, even if you can't hear it well, I'm the one you're supposed to be hearing anyway. So <laughs> I'll hear it and use that to, uh, to go off. Uh, please play that from the beginning for me. Now, my name is Doc Deuce, and as you can see, I put it there in the lower third. However, when a lot of people hear my name and decide to try to spell it, they spell Deuce, D-U-E-C-E. -E. And I think that has a lot to do with the word do. Um, as in the assignment is due. However, I, I started a verse just spelling my name so people understand how Deuce is actually supposed to be spelled. Um, wrote this song a little while ago, and then it really ended up fitting to this uh, bittersweet symphony. Yeah. Is that audible to you guys? You hear yeah. the background? All right. It's Doc Cruz, the lyrics to shock Cruz. My bones do not break, my skin does not bruise. I'm uncomfortable, but when you said to be obvious with obvious. I've been sick drinking, I got smooth and all the things to sit on the pool issue. Watch as the decadence of my sanity ensues. Maybe it's rude to substance misuse and all of the sick moves, the drugs and it dudes. The less you can fit shoes like mine, then what would you think? I don't do drugs. It's the drug to do me. I get the buzz and move me. I'm gone in the blind, but in the zone, and I find there's another level of home where I rhyme. It's like my mind soul at the microphone intertwined, and the core of the mic takes the place of its own in my spine. Changing the way that every one of my bones is aligned till I become the tool through which my light is shown and I shine. Just give me a PA, a DJ, my beats play, a relay, my speech way to PA, no delay or leeway. I keep making these statements each day to create a heat wave, degrees raise and leave stage. Like New York, out of the Arizona streets blaze and smoke like the product of marijuana. My weed's laid for shit to the show to make people donor. I'm free brain for the matrix of those to be my persona. Say he's crazy. I'm just a paradox who was a beast cage at one point in time, but I got loose to release rage and throw lightning like of the God Zeus and receive praise whenever I do it. I'm Doc News. I'm Doc News. So once again, you spell it D-O-C-D-E-U-C-E. -E. Just so you remember that's D-O-C-D-E-U-C-E. -E. Not you first, that's D-O-C-D-E-U-C-E. -E. I am D-O-C-D-E-U-C-E. -E. All right. That was my song about myself. Hello, Canadian. Hello. <laughs> All right. Now, um, this next one I actually do not have an instrumental for, so let's get past that. 
and let's do the hip hop instrumental. All right. I also, again, um, being one who really looks at hip hop as an art form and as a cultural representation. You go ahead and play it whenever. Yeah, make sure the uh, your vocals are loud enough. Are y'all hearing me clearly? Are the vocals loud enough to you guys? Um, they're a bit soft. Okay, I don't so think I don't think your handheld mic is coming through at all. Let me see here. I can fix that. Is that any better? I think oh, it's actually, just let's it's try just the built-in mic there. Let's try this. Oh wait, let's see. Oh no, it's this mic. Let's see. Is, is that not coming in any louder? Am I still am I still too quiet? I don't hear anybody responding to me. We, uh, we can hear it. It's just a little muffled. I don't know if much has changed. <laughs> okay. I might just not be technically apt. Alright. Hello. How about this? That, that sounds a little better? different. Does that make a difference? Has a difference been made? Hey, everybody. Not really sure. Not really sure? Okay. Hmm. Let's come out of the speaker. Right, it had to for the sound. All right, so let's see what needs to happen here. I have had a man. I wanted to make it a sound check, but having all of these musicians be so, uh, you know, the way that they've been, that it's been a little bit more difficult for me than I had anticipated. So, how about I just yell at everyone? <laughs> I guess that'll work. All right. <clears throat> here we go. <laughs> play <the> <laughs> Now again, I love hip hop, and because I love hip hop, I hear a lot of the stuff the mainstream puts out, and I see a lot of the influence it's having, and I have certain thoughts about that. And uh, and this is basically my uh, what I have written to address it. You still hear me, right? Yeah. It's good. Okay. There's a group called Dead Prez who uh, initially released this song called Hip Hop. Yeah. One, two, one, two, uh. There is a beat playing in the background. If you can't hear it, that should be perfectly fine. It's bigger than hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. It's bigger than hip. Okay, guys, I, I think it. I think it knocked him out because he was using the backing tracks, and uh, we've told him a couple times that he can't use other tracks and covers. I put it in the chat a couple times, so um, we're caught up now. The good thing. So, uh, Mary Amber, how are you doing today? Um, I'm doing well. I'm doing well, thank you very much. Um, I hope he's okay. I hope he's not in shock. I've dropped out a few times as well before, and I've just been like, "Oh my God, what just happened?" Um, but. Yeah, I'm doing very well today. I've got a set prepared. I can't wait to perform and share my songs with everyone. So that'll Good. be fun. <laughs> yeah. Yay. <laughs> so whenever. Looking forward to um, it. No the floor is all yours. Oh, well, do, Dr. Oh, Hughes hold is on. just um, rejoined. Hold on. There. Yeah. Uh, te technical difficulties? Uh-oh. Um, Are you right. still there? I am here now. It, it, it said I was blocked by the host. <laughs> it's probably so, uh, because... I have returned if I'm supposed to. You got to make sure you don't use any uh, music that's somebody else's. Uh, that's probably why you got booted. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, acapella. Don't let that television trick you. Elements are missed. You selling ignorance to all of those who dwell within the script. Few have made it by telling what they've been through. Seldom is it influential beyond selfishness. And if you wanted for development to give truth, well, it is admit to. TV has certain thirst to quell, and when it ensues, actual reality isn't the most relevant of issues. Remember, rapping is a form of expression, and trying to cash 
shit on a passion is a normal progression. But to be blasted to the masses, some record in a session like they have to please and lack any important direction. Saying it's entertainment, we don't need art. It's like the streetcar named Desire. Fame inspires aim and hire, but we're so busy trying to be stars that we don't even really know who we are. It's bigger than hip, hop, hip, hop, hip, hop. It's bigger than hip, hop, hip, hop, hip, hop. Now, is it me or are their verses lacking focus? Maybe you haven't noticed, but the game seems packed with jokers who act as though the status quo is fashion show with branded clothes and flashing gold. It's not skill because it's bragging, though. It's not real. It's whack and bogus. Either that or keeps our backs as broken as the home that crack gets sold in while the bastards bagging hope and macking hoes are stacking dough. Having those who grab for hope hear that and quote it, that trap and rap's atrocious. It's sad, but so is the fact that not many have stopped to consider who's really in charge and coming now it all top is the winner. While rappers are getting hypnotized by watches and spinners, as the community starves, who's eating lobster for dinner? Who tells us that intelligence is not the contender in the realm of rap music? Was it pop? Was it chicken? Is preserving the real culture of hip hop the agenda of those whose pockets get bigger, making their profits as bigger than just hip, hop, hip, hop, hip, hop? It's bigger than hip, hop, hip, hop, hip. Hop, and I have a song called Universal uh, that's also about hip hop. And that song is it's actually not on that list. I'm doing it because we're not doing favorite color. Universal is a man, I love the song Universal. I believe I have a show mix of it actually. But whatever. Um, America, the beautifully misguided, is alive with bigotry and so truthfully gets blighted. But races that were usually divided are now mutually excited by a movement that has musically united backgrounds and locations. We're embracing the culture. People, regardless of race or place, can indulge in what came and resulted from changing the pulse of the nation and making adults, kids, and teenagers craving and go. Every facet of this rapid, whether classic or new school, magically is crafted with the passion and few tools. That and his companions are establishing new rules. Scratch and tag and that breakdown. And that shit is too cool. But even with its sweeping reach, it's still keeping it regional. People ways we speak and different things that the people do. Artists held and travel from one coast to the next and get loads of respect for telling the way that it goes in their neck of the woods and it's good and quite the phenomenon because what it equals is tons of people finding a common bond. So even if you're not a fan, you still have to give props to the universal unification of hip hop down in the south of Derby, up in the east they're grimy, out in the west they're hyphy. It's universal. Black people, whites and Asians, Latinos, island races from nation to nation. It's universal. Down in the south we're dirty, up in the east they're grimy, out in the west they're hyphy. It's universal. Black people, whites and Asians, Latinos, island races, from nation to nation, it's universal. Shit, and they thought it wouldn't last. They thought it was a fad, but now we all up in their ass. The Grammys had a problem in the past. It's just a bunch of noise and people talking really fast. Imagine that. Now, we're starting as a show of record spinning to MC and then singing no respect was given to rapping and traveling coast to coast and representing through an explosion and getting global recognition. Overseas, they know the steeds of dope MCs and though they speak a different language, they can appreciate the rhythm and poetry. Give them a flow and beat. Make them aware of us and they're in love. Nobody prepared for what an influence it would grow to be. And look at us now. Our dialect has made us into high execs. We're writing checks. Our rhymes affect what people are buying next. That's why our elements are in the new commercial. On many levels, it's a huge dispersal. It's universal. Down in the south, we're dirty. Up in the east, they're grimy. Out in the west, they're hyphy. It's universal. Black Black people, white to nations, Latinos, island races, from nation to nation, it's universal. Down in the south, we're dirty. Up in the east, they're grimy. Out in the west, they're hyphy. It's universal. Black people, whites and Asians, Latinos, island races, from nation to nation, it's universal.
from every verse spit from the lips of the equipped emotion and versatility drips. Many stories are told to diversify the art form from adversity to mercy and making our hearts warm. At times perverse, but no worse than real life. Though we can transverse the lines when we wield mics, susceptible to controversy, we might hurt you. The art emulates our lives and vice versa. Man versus nature and versus the system. Do dirt in the streets or universities earning the wisdom that allows us to traverse the status quo and reverse the script. Bullshit has to go. A verse to war, we grab our pens at the first strike and write to end the violence like the treaty of Versailles. Then have a conversation as rehearsal for the day that peace is worldwide. It's universal. Down in the south with Derby, up in the east they're grimy, out in the west they're hyphy. It's universal. Black people, whites and nations, Latinos, island races, from nation to nation, it's universal. So that's the story of hip hop spreading around the world. What do you think? <laughs> Pretty cool. It's good stuff. It's hard to know when the song is over because there's like no music that fades out. <laughs> I apologize. Can, we can be your music fading um, out if you'd like. And actually, <laughs> it is because things are not actually going the way that I had uh, planned for them to go, and the band's not uh, here, I know. You know, kind of, this is supposed to be a musician's thing and not a poetry slam. <laughs> and also, considering that things were running a bit behind, would it be. How would, it, how would it sound if we did go ahead and try to get things closer to being on time by moving on to the next artist, or would you like to hear more acapellas? Mm -hmm. um, because I wouldn't mind either way. I, I want to give you guys what you would like as, as, as the audience for this music festival here. And thanks, John, by the way. Okay. I'm, well, hey, I'm happy with however John does it. I'm, I'm really enjoying watching all of you. I'm just... That's right. You, but you know the the lyrics that you have are super potent. I mean, they're really great. Uh, oh, I, it, yeah, but I, I have to listen to it like a hundred times because by the time you get to the third line, I'm still processing the first, which is how it's done. <laughs> you know, because my mind's not going that fast. I think your mind is already trained to foo -foo -foo, and you can even hear people talking that fast and understand them. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> but I dig on it, though. Really. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you do. Thank you very much. Yes. How's, it, how's, how's everybody else feel? Because, again, I, I understand that um, I don't have, this isn't music right now. It's, it's just vocals and lyrics. And moving on to the next artist, um, I, I wouldn't mind doing that. I do have more that, that the lyrics stand for. On their own, not even about hip hop, about other things that we can discuss. So, I think I mean, John, music is what you define it. Right. Well, right. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you think, said. John? <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, your call right now. We're nine minutes behind, so I mean, if you want to volunteer, it would help us catch up. But I mean, it's up to you. I know with the technical difficulties, you might not be comfortable, but it's up to you. You know what? And I, I wouldn't mind actually helping you guys catch up. I'm, um, yeah, here's what I would like to do, especially because we, we came to a place that was supposed to have Wi-Fi and didn't. <laughs> so you're using this 4G thing and having to pay for all that as well. So I'm going to get back to a Wi-Fi location so I can continue watching as I have been doing via YouTube. And I will pass the mic on to the next artist. And once again, say thank you to John for artists. In the plus uh, for for putting this entire thing together, all the multitasking that has to go into doing something like this, uh, I'm sure is stressful. But for you to put that on your shoulders and on your head is, is certainly something I respect and appreciate, sir. Thank you. Indeed, I'll be seeing you Thank soon. You. Next time, I'll have a band with me. Look <laughs> forward to it. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks. Everybody have a Thank wonderful, you. wonderful existence. You too. Signing off. Okay. I'll, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Okay. Ciao. okay. Bye. So now we go to the recently celebrated birthday <laughs> and Mary Amber. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I just um had a, my twenty first, so now I'm officially old. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay, I'm dusty. Yeah, that I feel old now. <laughs> and the rest of the room rolls their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you're only as old as you make, uh, as you believe you are. So I've been walking around telling people I just turned 16, and they've they've actually been believing me, which is which is good, which is slightly disturbing, but good, good. Can mm -hmm. you know, youthfulize myself? Is that even a word? It'll it come in handy now. when you're in your 40s. <laughs> yes. Thinking ahead. 
Mm, yeah. That's what I do. Forward planning. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> I've... Uh oh. Uh oh. It's all James's fault. James and the monkey. <laughs> James comes in. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come in and thing. it kicks Mary Amber out. She'll be right oh, back. No. Is there Mary room Amber room? will be right back, folks. There should I'll, be. I'll check out of the hangout here so she can get back. No, there's it looks room like she, because well, she would be the 10th. Yeah, she's, but her she's still frozen in the hangout, so she might not okay. be able to get back in. I'll, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Uh, technology, what are you going to do? Yeah, the, the freeze up. This one we got caught up. Mm hmm. I know, if, if it keeps doing that by, by midnight, you're going to be a half hour behind. <laughs> Hope not. Might have to go three days instead of two. <laughs> yeah. So what happened with the last artist? You had te te uh, technical difficulties? Yeah. Oh, bummer. Yeah. But at least we were pretty far behind, so I'm, it'll help us catch up. So, Robert, my uh, lower third's jacked up. I don't know what the heck happened to it. Every time I try and oh, use it. Oh, there's time. That I can't figure that stuff out anymore because it changed. Like, see how it's all, it's all jacked up, right, Robert? Or is it just me looking at it? You can only see part of it. That's what I thought. We can see your name, but not the website or anything else. That's because you had to go get all fancy on everybody. I'm a fancy guy, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> and here's go get Mary all Amber. <laughs> and welcome back. Don't, don't know what just happened there. Um, we blamed it on the monkey. Eep. My Good monkey. <laughs> Jeez, monkey. Um, <laughs> well, 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 I'll get the lower third happening again and uh, put it onto studio. I'll just let you know a bit more about the song because that's where I was at. Um, I'm going to be performing a song called From Me To You, which is a song about the journey from me to the person I love. And it's a song that I actually came up with the idea for um, when I was over in Austria. And... I'm not a huge traveler, so it's not like I'm constantly flying around the world. This was a big deal for me. I was in Austria, and I was pretty excited about the whole thing. And um, there was one little beautiful garden, and the garden had a setup in such that um, it was an arch, and it was full of flowers, and the whole path down was full of flowers as well. And it was absolutely stunning. And I had this vision in my mind when I was writing this song of someone just skipping along um, down this path, delivering um, their message of love to the person that they love. And that's kind of what inspired this. I don't think I've said that before on any sort of hangout or any blog or anything, but that's actually where it comes from. Bit of history there. Anyway, um, I'll play you the song now. And, oh, afterwards I'll show you the video and some screenshots. It will take a couple of seconds. But... <laughs> Here's the song itself. Hopefully I don't drop out midway through this one. The leaves have grown Like a roof above my head And the sun pipes through All the little gaps Nature has left breathing pollen pods like Sherbet in the breeze I hear candy wrappers When I tread on fallen leaves Guess it's a mud path to a place A bit cleaner but it's spotless Spotted with the sun specks dear Cause it's the quickest route From me to you From me to you So step by step, on a pathway, grain by grain, crunching symphonies, and painting dirt with shadow stains. 
I'm watching light beams beam out dust in the air and I'm whispering to the rocks that I'm almost there cause it's a mud pot to a place a bit cleaner but it's spotless spotted with the sun specs dear cause it's the quickest Daylight spice seems unbeatable, and it's almost that, but it ain't quite as nice when I'm on my way back. Cause it's a mud pop to a place a bit cleaner, but it's not less spotted with the sun specs, dear cause it's the quickest route. With the sun specs, dear cars, it's the quickest road from me to you. From me to you. From me to you. From me to you. You have yeah. such the sweetest voice. I just love your Thank stuff. You. <laughs> I'm so it's glad so you like innocent it. and pretty and <laughs> you make us laugh or not laugh but smile so much. <laughs> and make That's us feel so old. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh well, no, um, I'm twenty one. <laughs> I was joking. I was joking. I, know. I heard <laughs> I heard on the radio that the best year of your life is twenty two. I don't know whether I believe that. It's about as accurate as the internet, and we all know how accurate that is. But, you know, psychologically, your true voice comes when you're in your late 30s, early 40s. Oh, really? So look Have forward you done to that. Psychology? Yep. Are you a psychologist? Mad. No, I studied it, but I'm not like, you know, no, I'm crazy. So <laughs> there's nothing normal about me. All the best me. people are. That's Alice yeah. in Wonderland. Well, um, I'll do a quick screen share because I've put together a, um, I'll see whether I can get it up. It's some Firefox though. Let's see whether Chrome will do it. Um, I've put up my website. Uh, it's not going up, so I'll just type in my website for everyone. It's maryamber.com. And um, on this site, I've got a music video for that song, as well as a whole lot of other things. Um, right now I'm doing a thing where everyone that joins my mailing list gets a free song and um, so if you want to join up you can see that. Oh nice! But, <laughs> yay! It's, nice. it's um, pretty cool. Uh -huh. I don't have a huge amount of songs so pretty big. But um, this is the video for From Me To You and this has been featured on Artists in the Plus for a little bit. And um, it was at number one for four weeks in a row, which was absolutely fabulous. I was stoked. Each time it came up, you could just hear me running around the house going, it's at number one, Mom! <laughs> um, um, that's, that's embarrassing. I won't share any more of those stories. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move on to the next song. <laughs> the next song is a song called Share My Time. And um, this song is going to be set to a music video with secrets. And I don't know how well the screen shares are working right now, unfortunately, but um, I wanted to share with you some secrets as well. Not a whole ton of them, but um, just a few, just so you can get an idea. This is not what you'll be seeing in the video, because in the video I've made little calligraphy notes, and um, they're the ones that you see, the calligraphy notes, not so much the, um, <laughs> not so much the actual artwork versions of the secrets, which is what I was going to show you. But, um, I'll show it to you now if it works. Uh, oh, dang, I have no idea what that is. Wow. Okay, I I'm going to take it off screen share. I'll show you the secrets once I figure out how to work it. Otherwise, I'll just read them to you. Um, give it a sec. Nah, oh, here we are. Excellent. There's one of them. Um, I've never felt guilty for actions others would feel terrible about, mainly because I think everyone else's morals are stupid. Interesting person. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Every day my mother calls me fat. I think she would prefer a daughter with an eating disorder than a fat one. I eat excessively just to spite her. <laughs> I loathe that's, my best friend. That's clever. <laughs> These are actual secrets. They've all been submitted anonymously, so they're quite, um, um, they're quite de in, deep, uh, in depth at times. Some of them are very shocking. Some of them are sweet. This one, um, this one's pretty much middle of the line sort of secret that's been submitted. Um, I loathe my best friend because she became closer friends with someone else and she's mine. <laughs> A lot of them you can kind of see the person. Sometimes, well, this one, <laughs> you can kind of see the person. I never cried over you or missed you. Emotional investment fail. Um, this one is very heavy, so... I found this one heavy anyway. I don't think I'll ever have the courage to tell my parents I've stopped believing. I don't want them to think they've failed. Nice. Some of them are like that. Um, some of them are much sweeter like this one. So you made me understand that I'm not alone and it helped me more and it helped more than you will ever know. So there's a few sweet ones in there too. Mm -hmm. I've got a couple more. Most of my friends only call me when they need weed and it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> And um, I purged for the first time today, and I'm not going to stop. I wish I had the self-control not to eat, but for now, this will have to do. It says self-control not to cat. <laughs> it says eat. I wish I had the self-control not to cat. Font. It's a very odd <laughs> font, because the... I don't know. It's how it was set up. Oh, of course, these oh, aren't okay. the ones you'll be seeing. Um, you'll be seeing actual calligraphized notes that I post up around the university because this was done in conjunction with the university. Hence, once a week I sit in the law school bathrooms and cry. Um, one last <laughs> one. I thought this one was an interesting one to end on and also bittersweet. This with you was the happiest I've ever been. Everything since hasn't felt right. Mm. Uh, this secret, probably, you will only be, you, you will, as an audience, be the only people that see it because I can't write it out on a note. And it, it relies heavily on the picture itself. So, a bit of an exclusive secret for you there. Um, so, the music video is going to be featuring that. The song itself is a hopeful song called Share My Time. And it um, goes back to the time when I was in my gap year, after I finished high school, before I'd started college. And, um, at that point, I was very lonely. I didn't meet many people. I was at home doing music. Occasionally, I'd go out and meet my high school friends. Um, but I was quite lonely, and I was wondering to myself, will I ever find anyone? Will I ever have a boyfriend? I'd never had a boyfriend up until the age of, I think, 18 or 19. No one ever even came up to me and said, you look pretty or something. So was sitting there at home going, nothing's ever going to happen. And um, this song kind of derives from that period. It's called Share My Time. It's a hopeful song about finding love. Come sit with me, decrypting poetry all day long. Plaiting plaits and tying bows cause there's nothing going on. No one comes to rescue trapped fair maidens oh so shy When life moves so quickly there's no space to watch the sky Cause I'm high above in my castle in my tower And I'm twiddling thumbs turning minutes into hours and I don't know if you'll ever have the time But if you're free, then I would love for you To share some of mine If you're free, then I would love for you To share some of mine Tell me all your stories and I'll tell you dozens more Tales of happy ever after queens and folklore Cause 
lords and dukes and princes like you must prioritize I'll blow bubbles out my window and watch days of years go by Cause I'm high above in my castle in my tower And I'm twiddling thumbs turning minutes into hours And I don't know if you'll ever but if you're free, then I would love for you to share some of mine. If you're free, then I would love for you to share some of mine. Some of mine. Some of mine. Some of mine. Beautiful, Mary Amber. Thank you, James. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yay. Well, that was um, Share My Time For You. It's a hopeful song, so it's a happy song, but it's one of my slower songs. Don't have many really unhappy songs, per se, but that's on the slower end. But I might mix it up and make the next one a bit happier and boppier, um, play you something a bit brighter. And I was going to play you The Loveliest Guy I Know, which I believe might be the video that people in this hangout have seen. Mm -hmm. It's my latest video. And um, as I've been going through with the rest of the songs, I've been saying a whole lot of things I've never said before about them because I'm telling the story about um, how they came about um, for those that have just tuned in. And The Loveliest Guy song is a song that I wrote for my boyfriend. It's a song that I gave him on Christmas. Christmas Day as a little rough recording and um, we were driving in the car the other day we drove down to um, Katoomba which is a little country town here in Australia we we're just gonna have a nice tea there and look out at the view and um, the song came up the old version of the song actually not the new version <clears throat> so um, sorry a bit of a frog in my throat and it was the rough recording and he's kept it and it it's it's quite amazing just seeing that he's still listening to the version that I gave him that Christmas day um, last year and it, it meant a lot to me because it was quite scary it took me a year before I even played any music to him because I was like oh what if he doesn't like it what if he thinks that I'm stupid doing this music stuff but he did like it and he still has the song and it's still on his iPod so it makes me very happy and this is the song itself I'll show you some more visuals afterwards so go straight into it get you out of the lower mood and into a happier one you give me a reason to dress up notice you pull me out of my head to focus we can go anywhere and stay until they close you're the loveliest guy I know You put your pen to the page and plan things through You never let me wait when I rely on you You leave me with memories everywhere we go You're the loveliest guy I know Oh, yo! 
biggest guy I know. And um, again, I've been having some interesting um, issues with the sharing option, the screen share option here, but I'll see whether I can get it up nonetheless. Uh, I'll bring up another Google Chrome and then maybe it will work. Um, I wanted to share with you the mini website that's been made. Um, because this is actually a website that was made by the loveliest guy I know, so the guy that I wrote the song for, my boyfriend. And um, it's a place where people can post up boards with messages of love. And it's um, actually an extension of the music video. The music video, um, which you can find on YouTube, you can find on my Google+. Plus. Um, my YouTube, of course, is Mary, uh, youtube.com slash Mary Amber. Um, and I went to Darling Harbour for the video and I collected, um, I collected couples who wrote a few words of love down on a whiteboard and held it up. And this was the entire idea behind the song. So lots and lots of couples were just holding up whiteboards with words of love to each other. That's the loveliest guy I know right there, creating the website. But um, it came together and it was absolutely lovely. It's the biggest video project I've done. It took a very, very long time, but it was so worth it because um, in the end, when I was editing it up, my face was hurting because I was smiling so much. And when I watched the full video all together, I actually cried because um, well, you'll, you'll, if you watch the video, you'll understand. But there was that added layer of depth because I'd gotten to know all the couples even just a little bit. Um, so I had some feelings towards a lot of them and I remembered their personalities and everything so that really added to it as well. Um, the next song I was going to play for you is a, another kind of more deeper Mary song um, and this is a song called Crumbs and Glue. I've been getting artists to send in hearts for me. I've selected the artists and written to them asking them to send me a heart and this is going to go into the next music video. This one is by Jennifer R. Cook who is a Google Plus regular. She, uh, she does artworks for T for 10. And this one is by Nick Daristine, which I think is a very clever work as well, because you see a broken heart being traced out if you look a bit more carefully at it. And um, my song, Crumbs and Glue, is, it's kind of like a breakup song. This one, um, this one was a old song again that came from my gap year when I was not overly happy, and um, since then it has developed and it has been recorded and it is now available for free for everyone that joins my mailing list. Um, it's the first thing you'll get, and the mailing list. Don't worry, it's um, I'm not going to spread your emails to third parties or anything creepy like that. It's just to send links and. Um, Thing, like links to my new stuff and also some more free things for you in the future like songs and such. Um, but yeah, you can find that on my website as well, maryamber.com. So I'll play you the song, Crumbs and Glue, which is going to have the video put to it later. This is it. Trying to put my heart back together Oh, oh, but it's so smashed up It's gonna take forever Ooh, It's crumbs and glue And I don't know if I'll get over you You could make me solid, freeze me up And knock me down again You could mold me any way you want Slice me up and then Just do who Carving crumbs and glue I don't know if I'll get over you Oh, oh, I'm just so undone You couldn't make me better Ooh, I'm crumbs and glue And I don't know if I'll get over you Oh, crumbs and glue And I don't know if I'll get over you
to sign off after that but um my final song is a song called I Want the Boss. I thought I'd end on a cheery note and um I'm doing a lot of filming now for a mini series of videos actually and it's for seven songs, seven small songs about ac accounting and business of nothing else. Um beside doing music mm -hmm. I've been doing study on the side. I do a commerce law degree, so accounting and law over here in Australia. And people are often very shocked when they hear this. They say, you, of all people, doing accounting? Isn't that meant to be dry? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, accounting is not as lame as you think it is. There's, there's much more to it. So I um, have created this mini album. I'll share with you a little bit of art from it so you can see it. Um, Love Aki and um, <laughs> KPMG audit team, smooth calculator, uh, rock right. to market. <laughs> You're only getting small snippets of this because it's not meant to be out yet, but um, forensic is intense, forensic accounting. Mm -hmm. End of financial year, it's a fiesta song. I be dead people, I be being investment banking of course, and redundant, the final song in the series. That's all the art there. So, a bit of a um, preview. Pretty creative. Awesome. Don't tell anyone. Um, <laughs> because uh, that one's coming out. Um, probably I'm aiming for February. Um, so that, that will be then. The last thing I also wanted to share with you is voting. Because I'm actually on Artist in the Plus as a nominee for Artist of the Month. And I would really, really love if you guys go to artistsintheplus.com and vote for me. Um, in the survey poll because I would love to be Artist of the Month and I think it would be really cool. So um, if you like my stuff, please do go and vote for me there. Um, anyway, last thing, I wanted to play you some business music. Well, not quite, but um, something quirky and fun with a bit of business in it. Thank you for voting everyone, by the way, who has voted. Um, this is I Want the Boss. <laughs> I know it's wrong and it's oh so unprofessional I'm working 12 hour days or more My wage keeps rising and I'm flying up the ranks But that's not what I do it for I don't want the work I want the boss I get there early making coffee like he likes it done I feel the frost right up to the rim And get reports fixed right on time So I can personally hand them in I don't want the work I want the boss Late in the office when there's no one there Let's go sit on the executive chair Teach me cause I'm here to learn Take me step by step through the hard, hard work I get there early with gloss and heels the boss no I don't want the work oh I want 
the boss. <laughs> That's so dirty good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It's probably my best <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for having me. That was my set. And uh, again, if you want to check anything out, of course, it's all down there, um, website and such. Looking forward to hearing some more artists. This festival is awesome. John, you are awesome. The amount of awesome stuff that you've created is just making that word become redundant because uh, you've got this incredible site, incredible Google+, Plus, loving the festival. And yeah, can't really say any more because the word awesome has been used excessively already. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, Mary, real quick, if you do have a couple minutes, that link I put in the chat is a little yep. interview room. If you can sure. hop in there real quick and let them know where to find your music and all that. Yeah, um, sure. They'll be over there waiting for you. Cool. And well, we, I'll hop in then. Okay, and we have to You're move great. on there. Heather, thank, thank you, Mary. Thank you. Mary, you rock. Guys. Thank you. <laughs> And how are you doing today, Heather? Hey, I'm doing all right. How are you guys? I'm doing good. Yeah, good. How's it been going? Uh, everything sounds doing good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> trying to get caught up a little bit, but everything's been amazing so far. Oh, good, good. Yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been able to tune in in snippets, and it seems, you know, it's, it's been going great. So, I'm really excited for you guys. It's been great. Hi, Sean. How are you? Hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Susan. Hi, James. Hi. Oh, Sean, you got your heart. <laughs> Yay. Oh, that makes me happy. Hey, Kirk. Yay, John has Hello. his, too. John? Hey, John has his, too? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start, I want to start a community of, called Heather's Hearts, because you guys are my hearts, and, like, I swear, it's, like, it makes me so happy to see you have those. Um, because I made them with love, and to know that you guys appreciate them and wa actually want them, it's just, it makes me happy, so. Zipper, you. Zipper sent me a message saying he wants oh, one Oh, Billy's count. got his, too. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I want to take a screenshot. Hold on, I'm doing a screenshot. I love you guys so much. It's so awesome. That's a great screenshot. Oh, wait, let me get one more. Hold on. Wait, everybody. Ah. Wait. Say something, Sean, so it goes on. Or, John. Here, hold on. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, we didn't have to say that, but I mean, go on, really. <laughs> I love you. Oh, that's so cool. If anybody wants, I love making them so, you know, I, I just, you know, who doesn't love to send a little love around, <laughs> around to people? We need more of that. Um,. Is this okay? Just really quickly, I didn't. I am. Um, is it too loud? Am I too loud? If I. No, you're fine. Yeah. No, you're fine. Mm -hmm. I don't want to blow you out. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. So yeah. So should I just um, just just play a few songs and and uh, keep the um, music don't, going? Don't cut yourself short. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, we'll I've get got caught a couple. Up in the wee hours of the night, as long. Yeah. <laughs> I actually do. Unfortunately, I do have to. I do have to run around six because I've got the mm -hmm. kids. Um, we actually okay. got a cat today. We we got we adopted a cat today for an oh. early early Christmas present for the kids. So um so they're very excited and uh, and um I need to get up there and and join and take some pictures for Catterday because now I can officially <laughs> be part of Catterday, which I'm so excited. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna play a few songs, and and I hate to. Um, I I know that it's uh, this is a festival, and it's supposed to be you know upbeat and stuff. But obviously, with what's been happening in here in Connecticut, it's and I mean everyone's touched by it, and it just is. Um, uh, you know, it's just it's just there's just still such a feeling of sadness, and um, so the songs that I really kind of feel like playing tonight are kind of just they're all songs that. Um, kind of uh, go out to the families of the people affected by um, the shooting in, in Newtown. Um, so, um, you know, just continue to send love and prayers their way because, uh, I mean, there are no words. There are really no words. Um, 
So I guess I'll start with a, a little song that I wrote. It's a, a Christmas song that I wrote, and um, it's actually about how um, how it, it would be wonderful if the kind of that Christmas spirit, the spirit of giving and, and love and, and joy that we kind of feel at Christmas, if that could kind of, you know, extend throughout the year. Um, and uh, and it's called um, If Christmas Lasted All Year. And, um, okay. Actually, let me just do this so I can hear myself. There we go. All right. Church bells are ringing down in the town square, and voices of carolers fill the air. The houses on Main Street are dressed up full of lights, and this town shines so brightly drowns out the moonlight and it's the most wonderful time our hearts full of wonder and people are kind the spirit of giving is everywhere beautiful world this would be if Christmas lasted all year. Loved ones gather and young minds dream and joy is contagious and what this broken Presents sparkle under the trees that we trim, but nothing shines more brightly than the love that we give, and it's the most wonderful time. Our hearts full of wonder. People are kind, the spirit of giving is everywhere. What a beautiful world this would be if Christmas lasted all year. What a beautiful world this would be. Christmas lasted all year. Oh, thank you guys. Um, that song is actually available now for free on Google Play, so feel free to pick it up and, and add it to your, your Christmas list uh, or your Christmas mixes. It, it would bring me such joy to know that you guys are um, listening to it and... Um, uh, oh, hold on one second. Hold on, my son's down here. Hold on one second. <laughs> he always likes to crash. He always always likes to hang out, bomb. Hold on one second. <laughs> All right, sorry guys. My, I'm, I'm, I have my basement studio also in the, in, in all fairness, in the playroom. So um, I have to, sh as you can, I'll be right up, baby.
I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to multitask as a musician and a mom. You know how it goes. <laughs> um, but um, anyway, I, uh, I, I, so yeah, that song is available for, um, if you guys would like to add it to your, to your Christmas. It's on Google Play, and I told everyone that if you can't, like I know in Canada it's not available. If you'd like to get it and you, and you can't, um, just private message me, and I'm happy to, to, to send it to you guys, send you an, a, a copy of it, because um, it's my gift to you guys for being so um, amazing. So, um, yeah. Um, so I'll do, um, I'll do a song called Don't Cry, because I think it's just, um, kind of appropriate. <laughs> this is on my album, um, Scrape Need Girl. guys all down but I, I you know it's so it's hard as a performer and like musician to like play not what's in your heart and I'm just not feeling like playing yeah. very happy songs right now and I hope you guys can understand and I hope that mm -hmm. um you know it just um it's uh 
I'll come back for another time and sing some, some. Although you know what, I really don't write happy songs anyway. So <laughs> it's. I guess I'm, I wouldn't be lying if I said I had a bunch of happy songs that I'll sing for you. Um, but um, this is making me feel much better, and I know that you know music. Music heals in so many ways, and uh, and John, just you know, I'm, I'm I'm just so thrilled that you put this all together, and. Um, you know, it, what a wonderful way to, to get the community together and be able to hear other artists and get introduced to other artists and, um, you know, just, it's very cool. So I'm proud of you. You've, you've done an awesome job. So, um, um, I will do, um, I'm going to do a song that, um, this is actually, this is actually a song that I wrote, um, uh, that um, I wrote with, well, I wrote, but but uh, Mike Searle um, inspired me to write this song. He gave me a challenge to write a song um, about what it might be like for um, a parent to lose a child or a mother to lose a child. And um, I, I, I really honestly, when he approached me with kind of this challenge, I, I said, no way, I can't do it. There's no way. With every, you know, with every part of who I am, I, I try not to think of that because every parent, you know, you try not to think of that. And, um, but I had, um, I told the story the other night, I had, you know, I really wanted to be able to, to write this song. And um, so I was thinking back to um, a couple years ago, um, two, almost two years ago now, my, my mother-in-law passed away and I, I had to explain to my daughter um, who was, you know, uh, almost you know, like basically three and a half at the at the time. Um, what? Where's Grammy? Where'd she go? And 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 so I said to her that um, that you know Grammys and everything beautiful that you see in the world, every play, every every beautiful sunset, every beautiful song, every you know every time you feel love in your heart or you see some you know. A, just wherever, every little nook and cranny of anything beautiful in this world, Grammy is there, and um, that's where we're going to meet her. Um, you know, we'll meet up with her again in all those beautiful places. And because um, you know, I, I, how do you explain that to a kid? So, um, so when I went back to write the song, I, I thought I wanted it to be as positive as possible, if it's even possible when you think of such a subject. Um, so it's called "Where We'll Meet Again." And again, this goes out to all of um, the people in Newtown.
baby's crying Where a heart in love skips a beat Where the sun sets in the Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um I'm supposed to bring Kleenexes to these things? The heck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. That's, okay. <laughs> that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Well thank you. I mean, yeah. I uh I don't know. Um I love you guys. I'm glad. Thank you for, for, for having me come here and sing a couple songs. I'll do, I, I do want to do one more song for, you know, uh, uh, for John. Um, I want to do Ruby's song for him because I know that um, it's his favorite. And, uh, and um, yeah, so I, I, I again, I, I, I know I'm keeping it a little, a little mellow, but these are all songs coming from the heart. And then I, um, um, you know, you just feel helpless. You just feel helpless. Um, anyways, this so this John, this song goes out to you. Um, it's called Ruby Song, and um, and I wrote it for my daughter uh, when I was pregnant with her.
your questions. Can't stop your doubt. And I can't even tell you what life's all about. But know that, baby. Thank you. Um, I do have to run, John, and I know okay. um, that uh, that we have another another wonderful performer <laughs> yeah. behind me. So um, I really, you know, like I said, thank you so much for putting okay. this together. Thank you for all you do with Artists in the Plus. Um, and um, if anyone, um, you know, if anyone wants to uh, buy any of uh, the songs that they heard, that's on Scrape Me Girl, my album Scrape Me Girl, which is on. Uh, Google Play, uh, iTunes, all, you know, the whole, <laughs> okay. you know where to go, or my website, heatherfay.com, so. Heather, I, I know you're in a hurry, but if you do have a couple minutes, we do have another hangout set up where you can give everybody that information, and I'm sure they'll welcome the kids, too, <laughs> if you want to hop oh, in for a couple minutes. okay. But it's the link yeah. I put in the chat. If you click that, it'll take you straight in, and George Miller and, and all of them will be over there waiting for you. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I can, I can hop over there. Okay. Um, but yeah, thank you again, and um, it was so thank good to you. see you, Billy and David. I, I saw you sne just sneaked in here, and um, John and Kate. I'll be listening. Um, and Kirk, it was great to see you, and and Sean, I love you. you. I love you so much, and thank you. And Shafali, you, <laughs> you just <laughs> snuck in too. I just snuck in, yeah. <laughs> And Sudesh also. I love you guys, and um, and I'll be listening. Thank you again, John. Thank you. See Heather. you guys. Bye. 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 Okay. And Kate, you may be muted. You might have to unmute yourself because I muted you when you first came on. How's that sounding? Can you hear me? There we go. There we go. So, so John, I'm I'm going to switch into studio mode while I play. Okay. Um, but I want you to let me know if you can hear any buzzing, and if that's the case, then uh, we'll do some tinkering around. But um, so far, no buzzing noises. Mm, so, you're good. So far, we're okay. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Thank you, everyone, for, for coming along. This is very, very exciting. This is actually the first time I have performed in a official hangout. Um, so I'm so, so excited to be here and um, 
slightly intimidated by Heather. It's really hard to go after such a wonderful woman. She's just such a beautiful soul and just such beautiful music. But um, hopefully I can still entertain you. And, um, and I'm going to sing three songs if there's, if there's time, John. You can just let me know if, it's, um, okay. mm -hmm. if we're pushed for time. Um, and the first song is called You and Me. And it's about um, following your heart, going down the road less traveled, and um, just loving someone um, in spite of every, everyone else. Um, so I'll switch over to studio mode, and please do sort of signal me if you can hear any, any buzzing, and I'll, I'll see if we can get rid of it. Okay. told us we could never be Cause you came from the wrong side of the track But you had the things I like Seeing colors everywhere when all I see is black And it is plain to see That you're not just a fantasy More than an illusion could mold And if the truth be told your honesty is more prices to me than a ring of gold And you are not the weight you bear The size of your paycheck, the clothes that you wear And although they've tried, no one can compare There'll be forks in the road, forks in the road And I know which way I will go Cause if you by my side I've got nowhere to hide And I'll know To feel the fair and love you anyway 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You and me together happily find a place in which our children can roam in which we call home spending time together not just clogging on the phone and then eventually you and I will grow our family tree surrounded by a canopy of love with branches spread above holding up each other holding on to what we love and you are not the way you bear the size of your paycheck, the clothes that you wear. Although they've tried, no one can compare. There'll be forks in the road, forks in the road, and I know which way I will go. Cause with you by my side, I've got nothing to hide, and I'll know. Feel the fair and love you anyway. 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 You are not the way to bear the size of your paycheck, the clothes that you wear, although they've tried no one can compare there'll be forks in the road forks in the road and i know which way i will go cause with you by my side i've got nothing to hide and i'll know i'll feel the fair and love you anyway
Great. <laughs> Is it working? No. Are you there, John? You can hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, okay. Great. No sign of any buzzing? <laughs> um, just a little feedback, but it's not bad. You can hear the music over it. Great, okay. Um, well, this... Oh, I've got some messages coming up. Um... The mic's a little hot. Maybe I should sit, sit back a little bit? Just a little, yeah. Just a little, okay. <laughs> so no more yelling into the mic then. Um, okay, awesome. Well, I'm going to get on to my next song. Um, it was actually inspired by an Australian um, <laughs> drama series, um, and I just got really hooked into it. But um, the song's about this woman, she's surrounded by so much good, um, but she only focuses on the bad. Um, eventually she comes around, but um, it's just a reminder to sort of um, make the most of what we're given every day and to celebrate every day and, the, and, and think tough things happen all the time, but um, to remember that good things happen too. So this one is called Miserable Me. should have been a wonderful life, wonderful life. A prince swooping in to make me his wife, make me his wife. Footsteps pacing on the floor, I always thought that I deserve more. What have I done so wrong in this life? Wrong in this life Cause I'm money short Some kind of sign of sorts That you're not good enough for me Sure you play guitar But that won't get you far Cause you're not good enough You'll see You'll see You'll see You'll see You'll see You'll see Happy being miserable, miserable me, miserable me. Complaining all the time, complaining what's yours to mine. And I'm happy being miserable, miserable me. Oh, cause you talk too slowly. Guess what you owe me, owe me, owe me A lifetime of leisure, spending and pleasure Hold me, hold me Cause I'm money short, some kind of sign of sorts That you're not good enough for me Sure you play guitar, but that won't get you far Cause you're not good enough, you'll see You'll see, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see, cause I'm happy being miserable, miserable me, miserable me. Lovely. <laughs> Very nice, Kate. Thank you. Um, I'm going to get right on and sing the next song. Um, I was inspired to write this song when my husband went on a, a work trip overseas. He went to San Francisco. He was away for three weeks. Um, and um, this song just sort of came to me and um, 
I missed him a lot. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoy it. It's, um, I'll just get right on and play it. <laughs> I dreamed of a boy like you Lips soft pink, your eyes so blue I dreamed of a boy like you Tell me that you love me dear Tell me you'll always be there Always be there, and that you'd sail far across the sea with only the stars to guide you to me. The gentle whisper of a man. Yep. We can hear you. You can mm -hmm. hear? You can hear me? Can you see me? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. You can you can tell by all of this action that I'm 
a total technophobe. I'm just absolutely hopeless, but I'm I'm learning with the support of my um, G plus in friends <laughs> um, how to work everything. And I've got my husband here behind the scenes um, helping me out. But um, as I have done a lot of hangouts, I guess um, practice makes perfect. So I must get in and do some more. But but thank you so so much for for joining me today and. Um, I'm just I'm so honored to be a part of this whole platform and, and thanks to John so much for his constant positive um, support and hard, hard work. I've heard he's only been getting two hours sleep a night, so I hope that when this is all over you get a, a full night's sleep, John. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. Kate, <laughs> Kate, the um, link that I just put in the chat, we actually have a little interview room set up. If you click on that, it'll take you into that hangout and you can let everybody oh, know great. where to find your music and They'll be waiting over there to have a little chat with you. How exciting. I, I look forward to it. I'll get straight on to that. And, okay. and good luck to the person after me who is, I can't see the screen. I'm sorry, I need glasses, but hello. <laughs> and I'm Hi. sure. Shani, I'm how are you doing tonight? Good. I'll leave her you in, in your paper hands. And um, thanks so much, everyone, for, for tuning in. Okay. Thank you. Have fun. Thank bye you, bye. Kate. Bye. Okay. And the floor is all yours. Awesome. Hey, everyone. I'm Shani. And um, I can't wait to do this. It's my first time here online doing a show. So I'm going to get started. Make sure I'm on the right thing here. OK. So this first song is called On My Way. Um, it's a song that's going to be on my upcoming album coming out next weekend on uh, Sunday next week. So I'm really excited about it and I hope you guys enjoy. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Listening, cause your lies are making me sick. I try to roll over, ignore all the noise, but I'm not holding on no more. No, I'm not holding on no more. Oh, your words shatter all the shields that at some point kept me hiding in my bed. The covers can't protect.
you. Lovely. Thank you, very much. <laughs> Thank you guys. All right. I'm going to grab my guitar and spare you the ugly noise that when I take it out of the quarter inch out of my piano. So I'll be right back. Alrighty. Cool. So, um, this next song is called Perfect Sky, and uh, it's going to be on the new album as well. And it's kind of about a, a beautiful sky that, that you can see stars in. Um, and for whoever lives in a big city, I know that it's sometimes hard to see very many stars, um, like in LA, where I am. Um, but I was in a desert um, for this song. We were uh, traveling in this desert where it probably takes about five hours to get from one point to a major city, and there were no lights at all. And uh, we decided to take a stop off the side of the road, and when we got out, out of the car and looked up, I could not believe the sight of the stars. It was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. and. Uh, I had to share it through a song. I was compelled to write something about it. It was so, so beautiful. So here's Perfect Sky. You said to me, as you wrapped me in the sky, this blanket's got some holes, but babe, don't fret. Cause through these tears, little lights begin to shine. They keep us warm together, we'll be fine. Oh, what a beautiful
scent on my pillow It lingers long after you're gone And in the morning I'm still warm And your arms keeping me safe in the night Oh, what a beautiful night Thank you. Thanks so much, guys. It's kind of weird watching me sing my own songs on my screen, so I think I'm going to hide myself. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll, I'll watch one of, one of you guys. Hi, Billy. Nice to meet you. Hi. Um, okay. So, I'm going to stand guitar here. And... Like I said earlier, uh, my album release show is December 23rd, which is this coming Sunday. Um, I've been working on this album for about two years, <laughs> and uh, all independent, all grassroots, and I'm very excited about it. And uh, I'm going to try to live stream it for those of you who are in other places, um, and can't wait to share it with you all. It's going to be on iTunes and on my website and everything. This is called Suspended. It's kind of between the time between uh, 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. where you're like not sure what day it is. You, it's not quite the day before and it's not quite the day after. You're kind of sort of suspended in this moment of time. Um, and that's what suspended is kind of about. The sound of nothing needing to be said And all the places we can be and stay But we stay here between the sand and the sun Pull the waves around us until the day is young We are taken we are waiting and our hearts are beating fast We are in between and praying now We can make this last, we can make this last Make this last They say they feed in moments never last we defy whatever tries to cross our paths And as the sun peaks its head along the line We'll fight the death of dawn's enchanting space of time We are taken, we are waiting And our hearts are beating fast We are in
switch over to um, piano here. I'll be right back. Okay, so I had a little idea to do like a fun interactive little part of this show um, as a little sort of contest thing. Um, I'm coming out with this album and um, I figured it'd be kind of fun as an experiment um, to get you guys involved. Um, so if you have a piece of paper and a pen and if you <laughs> want to be a part of it, it would be awesome. Um, my contest is... Um, Make a caricature of, of me playing. It can be as stick figure-ish as you want or as complicated and, and cool and watercolors and charcoal paintings as you want. Um, and just draw something, whatever, whatever you're feeling. Um, and I guess we can either post it on, I'm not sure where we can post it, or you can email it to me, shani at shanirose.com, and I'll put that up on my little screen thingy. Um, and Whoever is the, the winner uh, will get a free album when it comes out next weekend. I will send it over to you, a signed copy of the album. So let's see what happens. <laughs> the uh, imagination is, the, the sky is the limit, and it's about creativity. So whatever you guys want. Here, I'm going to post it up right now. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna go on. Um, this next one's called I Am. It's on the new album that's coming out and uh, it's kind of a song that's just, the goal is to make you feel happy and uh, powerful in your life and, and that you have whatever you have, uh, you know, whatever decisions you have to make, you have, you have a say in choosing your own fate and, in, and your own uh, path in your life. So this is I Am. I am sitting in a pocket of sunshine Where the crystals of the clouds can reach my skin and it's okay that my clothes are a perfect shade of black Cause it's easiest for warmth to creep on in I've learned that living life must be in color I laugh and run all out and the must And it's okay if I forget to try to watch sometimes In fact, a simple black and white is just enough I am unbreakable, unshakable You're too critical yourself This robot killed your wealth Just take the smile and tell yourself At least you tried So now I've gained an appetite for silence Of a peace that I feel many do mistrust I've stripped away the nonsense of a cruel cowardly world And all that's left is me, the trees, the sky, the dust I am unbreakable Saw the ground. 
doing okay out there <laughs> oh yeah we're great okay cool um great so mark even if you can't draw stick figures like i said are totally fine i promise you it's just a, a thing for fun <laughs> i can't i can't draw other than stick figures either so Alrighty, so this next one um, is called Walls, and um, it's kind of about putting up walls in your head and thinking you can't do something when, when you actually can, and it's kind of all in your mind, uh, kind of bringing you down, but once you clear that out and uh, you believe in yourself, you can do a lot more than you think you can. These walls were made to hide So no one could defy A labyrinth of stone-cold block And poison ivy choking up the sides Standing still In a scenting sweet Under your feet We've all got hearts to tend to But we all ignore the signs Pretending there's a way to live with walls Impossible to climb Thanks. 
Thank you guys so much. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> um, awesome. So I'm going to just keep going. And um, this, this next song, um, if you guys also are interested in, in liking on, on my Facebook page, um, it's facebook.com slash Janine Music. I don't know if like Google Plus and Facebook are like rivals or something, but I don't know if that's like, <laughs> like I shouldn't announce that right now, but I am. Um, so if you guys like the music, if you like what you hear, um, go and like it and um, keep, keep updated with all the, the fun stuff that's happening. All right, so on the other side is my next song. It's, uh, I wrote it after I watched um, sort of a, a home video of my family and I when I was like two years old and um, it, it was just such a like happy moment to, to sort of feel nostalgic about uh, you know my life and, and, and looking at me when I was little and um, on the other side is kind of about uh, not, not forgetting to, to be a kid sometimes and, and enjoy uh, life in an innocent way and, and not get bogged down and stressed out about, um, about your responsibilities and, as an adult. And, and sometimes, sometimes it's okay to forget that and, and sort of uh, enjoy the, the simplicities and the simpleness of, of uh, some of the moments in your life. So this is on, on the other side. love that we have as little boys and girls we can help but grab onto the little birds and the growing trees and all the things that keep us smiling do 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 time goes by it shuffles on like a deck of cards the magician says stop but you just let time take charge and little girls and boys to women and men you just wish they'd back to going back again and i want to say hey, 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 hey. can you make me feel the love can you make me feel the joy of forgetting the worry i'll put a thing or two in my back pocket for you i'll keep my head up and i won't stop can you make me feel the love can you make me feel the joy you get through when it's the time for you to keep our heads up till we meet up on the other side on the other side i decided sometime around the age of six i wouldn't let people's words hurt me like the stones in the sticks easier said than done because when you Sticks turning knives and stones our hearts come undone You try to glue it back together better But the weather's just a little colder than you remember And your rent's not being paid with Monopoly cash So you have a little faith that it doesn't hurt to ask Can you say, hey, 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 hey Can you make me feel the love? Can you make me feel the joy of forgetting a worry? you get through when it's the time for you we'll keep our heads up till we meet up can you make me feel the love can you make me feel the joy of forgetting a worry i'll put a thing or two in my back pocket for you i'll keep my head up and i won't stop can you make me feel the love can you make me feel the joy of forgetting a worry Make sure that you get through when it's the time for you. We'll keep our heads up till we meet up on the other side. 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 Oh, oh, oh. 
on the other side whoa, oh, on the other side whoa, oh, on the other side on the other side Thank you. Awesome. Good stuff. Thank you. Um I got one more for you guys if that's okay. You should have time for one more quick one if you want to go ahead. Okay. Cool. Um this is called Mary Ground. It's the uh it's uh, also the title of the album that I'm coming out with. Um, and uh, it's one that I wrote about six years ago, so it's kind of one of the oldest, but, um, but one that I kept with me uh, throughout my, my journey in the past couple of years. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoy. I took a trip to the playground today When shops of pain splattered carelessly and I stood and tried to find the youth in me and for a single finite moment I stayed with nothing else but a pair of brushes in my hair and I paid a thousand words for me It's a merry go -round, And it's got your bell So wake up darling Cause it's bolted to the ground Oh it's bolted to the ground It's bolted excuses for why life's not what they choose so I wish I could do it right my visions lead me out of sight I'm hiding in this color by number This has been really, really awesome. I appreciate John and David for helping me out on this and hope to do this a lot more. Um, and find me on shanirose.com and I will see you guys later. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, hold up your doodles if, if you made any. Okay. If you didn't and you thought you were a bad artist. I can't drive. <laughs>
<laughs> can't draw. You know what? I probably will pick the one with the stick figures, if if there is one. I'm not trying to make fun of you guys. I promise. Okay. Well, okay. Glad I'm not the only one that didn't draw. The, yes. the link that I put in the uh, chat is an interview uh -huh. room we have set up. If you want to click on it, it'll take you to another hangout and let them know where to find your music and any projects Great. you have coming up. Okay. Wonderful. Thanks so much, John. And I do have a picture I'm working on that I'm going to send to you in your email. Awesome. Wait, who who just said that? Kirk. Kirk. Over here. Okay. I can't wait to see it, Kirk. Awesome. All right. No problem. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. Nice to meet you Thank all. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay. Bye. And Denny, how are you doing tonight? Good, good, good. Okay. Okay, and we're all set to go. If you want to introduce yourself, the floor is all yours. Me, right? I think someone else said Denny. Yeah, he said Denny, not Dennis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's me. I'm like, hey, that's that's me. I <laughs> that's two of them now. What? I did a doodle. Look, look at my doodle. <laughs> I drew that all by myself. I didn't have my kids help me at all. <laughs> um, can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all good. Hey, happy to be here. You know what I love about these Google Plus Hangout things is that no one has to wear pants. <laughs> 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 Am I right? Uh, I'm Denny Gauthier. Uh I'm a singer-songwriter up from Canada. Make my living run, running around playing music and uh, recording music and selling my music and teaching my kids my music and I'm just gonna, I guess I'll just start playing, right? We've got half an hour, well technically 20 minutes. Uh-oh, I can't hear you, John. I think that you're muted. No, we're running a little behind. You can still have your half hour, so. Okay. Well, I'm not. We we could technically get back on track here if I just did 20 minutes. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, here's one that I wrote out camping with my kids this summer, called "Into the West," and uh, it's not that I'm old, but as I as I get older, I feel like I feel like I have sometimes put the focus on the wrong things in life, you know. And uh, sometimes I just want to like pack up all my stuff. And just go away, just head into the West and, and uh, take my family and go and experience life. This is kind of what it's all about here for me. Whatever is best for me and you, I'll 
How's it sound? Does it sound okay? Sounds good. Is it not clipping at all? It's clipping a little bit. Yeah. Do you want me to do you want me to turn the, the master down a bit here? Yeah, just a smidge. Settings. Oh boy. Have you turned on the studio mode? Yeah, it's in studio okay. mode. Yeah. Okay. That should be good. I hope. Let's see. So I went to the studio last month for an entire month and recorded my next album which is going to be released sometime in the early spring and uh, it was a dedicated month to just tracking and I was living in this old schoolhouse and I had this little bunky thing that I got to sleep in and my producer who works with you know Anne Marie and Mudvayne and like all these cool big names um, he slept down like in the main studio area and we were like monks for an entire month and uh we got to just kind of play with sounds, and I got to hear my music in a new light, and uh, kind of give me a fresh perspective on on what I'm doing and how I'm going about it. And this is one of those songs I call "Tear for Tear" that really popped on the album, and it's got some cool tones to it. I'm just gonna sing it. You'll hear it in this most basic form here, but um, it's kind of about this whole human race now. Obviously, especially with Google Plus, we live in this big global village, right? Like, I don't know where all you guys are from, but we're definitely not from my town. And uh, we get to see each other and interact and, and be cool and be friends. And, uh, and that's what this song's kind of about. I hear you in the whispering of my name. You can tell the difference is all the same. There's so much you can understand. Just walk, you can hold my hands. You can hold my It's hard to look when you can't see Sometimes my feet move
Thanks. Was that better, clipping-wise? Yeah, yeah, okay. that's better. There's still a little bit, but okay. it's better. Thanks, David. Do you go by Dave or David? Either or. Done. People ask me if I'm Denny or Dennis, and I say either or, too. <laughs> so, uh, how about you, Dennis? Are you Dennis with two N's? Uh, yeah, two, two N's and a go by Dennis. Yeah, so you're not a Denny. Uh, I was Danny when I was little, but until my mom embarrassed me in front of some people, and then it was Dennis the rest of the time. <laughs> now it's Dennis, suckers. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I so I spent a lot of time traveling around. Sometimes I, you know, I write songs from this traveling musician perspective, and sometimes I write music that I just kind of have to release and let go. As in, I'm not going to claim that it's a part of me. You know what I mean? Any songwriters in the Google Hangout here? Yeah. For, for all you songwriters out there, when you're listening, you'll know what I mean. Because, uh, like my mom, for example, would ask me, what does that mean? And I had to be like, you know, mom, you're going to have to take it for what it is and just and just uh, just listen to the lyrics and get what you want out of it. This song is called Leave Me Alone. And it's one of those songs that uh, like, I actually wrote it a couple days right before I headed out to the studio last month. And uh, it's a really heavy tune, and um, I just don't know where it came from, because I'm not really a heavy, melancholy type guy. But here it is, I wrote it for someone, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I've heard there are stars that light up the sky, where someone is born, where somebody dies, yeah. Dreaming counts not, the earth is still gray. Yeah, we can change to heart, and then walk away now. All on all now at last. Go ahead and leave me out. Leave enough to call. Don't worry about the way things were Just go ahead and leave Walk hands held down Walk of shame, interestingly enough, we can't take the blame for that. Cause that's simply just not where we're at. Somehow so pure, soon in a now, to rise to the thought that we're easily tough enough. And that's simply I'm not 
Oh, thanks. I love the lyrics, too. Thank you. Um, appreciate that. You know, it's weird, eh, performing for who knows how much, but then, like, a couple of heads bobbing around there on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it's awkward. It is kind of the future, though. It's kind of cool to be a, on the cusp of something that's, that's interestingly different. It could possibly change the way people listen and hang out with artists. And uh, even more importantly... Um, History is kind of changing, you know, actually the future is changing the way we view history, but um, it's, it's, it's very interesting to be a part of those times because a lot of artists out there, and I'm not really speaking just artists, it just could be anyone in any kind of, you know, field that they work in, um, but especially artists. A lot of the big names are, are more worried than ever, and a lot of the, the up-and-comers are just more excited than ever, and uh, that's kind of where I'm at because... Um, I've been able to build a great uh, global audience of people who love what I do and, and love to hear my music. And I know there's so many people out there doing the exact same thing. And I, I just love that. So, John, great job, buddy. Pretty, pretty uh, proud of what you're doing. Um, this song is called I Need You. I released it on my last album called I Am Hope. And, uh, man, when I was a kid, I, I used to live in this old little town called Pembroke. And I would go... Um, I would go across the street, and I was pretty young. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I'd let my kids do it. I don't know what's wrong with, with us now. I don't, don't let our kids do that, but my mom said, let me. So I went down. I'd play <laughs> these railway tracks where there was an active train going by every hour or so. Like, I'd put rocks on the train tracks to, to see if it would turn it to lava and, like, <laughs> you know, like kid, kid things. And uh, it was so cool. And... Um, Really, it was sort of, sort of what formed a lot of how I, how I picture the, the lyrics as I write them. Um, this song's called I Need You. Down the hill and out the back Past the rusty railway tracks there's a place where I used to hide Smell of autumn leaves Hair ruffled by the breeze The feeling you and I would soon collide I need you oh, I need
So, is it still sounding okay? Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Um, hey, Billy. Hey. Hey. Um, this is a song uh, called You and I. And talking about this, did someone ask me to rap? Sean, did you ask me to rap? No, that's what I call Matt. Rap before rap. Oh, because I can, because I, I can rap, but you're not gonna like it. I guarantee it. <laughs> rap. This is cool, Nicole. I'm actually blown away. Did you ever see that clip? I forget who the comedian is, who says, "Yeah, you know, you get on an airplane, you complain about the food, you complain about the all this stuff," but he's like, "What you should really be saying is, oh, I'm in a, in a chair." 20,000 feet in the air, flying through the freaking air! Yes. You should be excited! Louis C.K., I think. Oh, we got a guy with a mic there. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good, man. Uh, I'm in Vegas. So we, Vegas, cool. I love Vegas. Vegas is a, is a really fun time. But Jeez. I might, maybe only, I can only handle it for about three nights in a row before I crash. If you catch my drift. Okay, so <laughs> this song's called You and I, and uh, it's one of those songs where I've had to kind of let go of the lyrics. And uh, it says, uh, you know, our roads are not the same, but somehow we're to blame. Show me where the coin is under this shell game. It's like we're all moving through this thing at this fast-paced, lightning-quick life. And I, I kind of think these people were designed for uh, community. Like we're designed to hang out. Why do you think everyone wants to read and tweet and hang out in Google Plus and stuff. Like, we weren't really designed, I don't think, and if you want to consider that we were designed or not, whatever, but, like, you're not meant to be a re re repetitious robot type thing working all the time. We have our work on our jobs, and uh, having having a job is cool. Having work, and I'm, I'm getting philosophical here, but this is what the song's about. Um, people, I think, should have a passion for what they do. This is their work, and I think that's so important. John's got this cool passion for for helping independent artists and uh, you know bring it bringing it to the world. The song is called "You and I," and uh, has something to do with with that. I'll just sing it and stop gabbing. Dreams they come and go. Days and rays of hopelessness that I can't show. I've been told that these are hard times when we all grow. Oh. Near to near the light on fire, but it's clear. Holding hands through the bad man's last frontier. Every day is a new day of the new year. Oh, and our moods are not the same, but somewhere where to blame. Show me where the corners of this shell can feel like the frame, but we're all one and the same. Because I'm not gonna change And everybody hurts, everybody cries Everyone has seen the change and eyes don't lie Holding to the truth, hoping it's the truth Cause change will change the difference Between you and I Oh, you and I you and I Push and squeeze and possibly a bit. 
couldn't understand the value of my When I wrote to not the same with someone would I blame Show me one of the corners of this shell game Feel like we've been praying but we're all in the same Living the best of them cause the love don't change And everybody hurts, and everybody cries and Everyone has seen the church and I still lie But to the truth, holding up the truth Change don't change the difference between you and I Thank you. I'm learning this unique skill of playing and reading chats. As <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's always fun. Hey, whenever you hear me flub a chord, it's because I'm like, is he talking about me? Just... <laughs> Bring the king. I'm like, you know, Elvis, what does this guy want? Oh, wait, no, I have to go back a little couple spots there and read what's going no, on. No, no, I think he was going to bring Elvis because he had him in a, a picture earlier with him and Elvis. Nice. I know. That's I like Elvis. Him. Bring him on. Well, I don't know. Um... I can do another one or I can quit here. We can kind of get back on track for timing. Whatever works for you, John. Um, if you want to play another one real quick, that's fine. And then um, after that, we'll have to restart this hangout and uh, start a new one. Okay. Sounds good. And does anyone have a request? I'm assuming not. How about your new Christmas song? Oh, I suppose I could do that. It's real mellow. I don't know how it's going to translate. You want me to sing it anyway? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. I think I did it up here. Called you and I. And you. we're talking about this. Oh, is someone, yeah, there's a delay. Someone's listening. There we go. Um, hi, how are you? Um, yeah, Christmas time is here. Here we go. There's a video. Can someone find the link on YouTube maybe and just pop it in here for people if they want to see it? I, I dropped it about 30 something hours ago. Christmas time is here. Happy and cheer. For all that children call their favorite time. Snowflakes in the air, carols everywhere, golden times and ancient rhymes of love and dreams to share. Sleigh bells in
Merci beaucoup. I appreciate you guys all the time. I appreciate you, John, Billy, everyone I've met. Have fun with the rest of the hangout. That was excellent, Denny. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Okay, guys, what we have to do now is what we have to do about seven to eight times through this mega 34-hour marathon. We're going to have to reset this hangout, and when we come back, we'll have Dario Musk, Brett Michelle, Sonia Rao, Danny Reisner, Max Lugavere, and Julia Price in part three. So uh, make sure to come back and join us. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Woo!